Hi, I'm Bob McNally, and I just got back from a pretty successful dove hunt this morning with a few friends. And I've got a couple of dozen doves here to clean. And I'm going to show you a really easy, fast way to go about breasting doves, which is just a wonderful way of uh, cleaning them up pretty quick for a nice barbecue or a dinner this evening with these birds. So we've got our, all our doves in a bucket here uh, that we're going to start breasting them. You want a, a bucket and maybe a plastic bag where you can keep the birds in kind of an orderly fashion. Got the birds here. I've got another bucket that I'm going to be putting the wings and the discarded parts of the bird in this bucket for disposal later. And then I've got a, just a, a bowl of water where I'm going to put the breasts so I can wash them up, clean them up real nice before we go about cooking them or freezing them. So we've got our doves all ready to be uh, breasted. And the first thing you do is take, take a, dove, a bird, single bird, and cut the wing as close as you can to the bird, like so. Discard of the wing, get that wing good and far out, clip it close to the bird. And at this point, that's all you've got to do. And you just want to keep doing that. Go through all your birds, clip those wings. So both each bird has no wing on it. Just a good pair of scissors or game shears, good heavy duty sharp scissors, goes right through these wing bones. And you can do the same type of breasting with uh, quail, uh, some other game birds like woodcock or grouse. Pheasants are okay. Some ducks, sometimes this wing bones are thick on other birds, but for doves and small birds like quail, it's very easy. You just keep cutting these wings till you get through all your birds. Clip those wings real close, like so. And that's it, until you get through all the birds here. So after you have the birds and all the uh, wings have been removed, close to the body like so, you reach in here to the bird's breast, and you can feel that breastbone running down the front of the bird. And you just kind of push in at the base of the breast, where the stomach of the bird would be, and that just kind of peels you puncture that skin and peel the skin back away from the, re the breast, revealing it like this. It's really very simple. There's no real effort involved, no, no strength really. And the breast just pulls away from the bird like so. And that's it. And you discard the rest of it. And this breast, just for an easy cleanup, I'm going to put into a little bowl of water clean that up later and you move on to the next bird. The next bird the same way, you roll it over till you can feel the breast, underside of the bird, run your finger down until you can feel where that breastbone ends at about where the bird's stomach would be and you just kind of puncture the skin, pull the skin back away from the breast like so, revealing the breast, then go back to the bottom of the breastbone again and just roll it out away from the bird like so. It comes right out. There's no reason to cut anymore with scissors. And all of the remains go into the bucket you're going to discard and then the bird breast goes into the water. I'm going to show you that one more time. Take your dove with the wings cut close, roll him over to his so expose the front of the bird, the, the breast. Go down to the bottom of the breastbone, feel where that breastbone ends, and kind of puncture the skin. Roll that skin back away from the breast toward the head of the bird. There's the breast. Take your thumb, grab the breast, and just kind of roll it out. Pulling the bird away from the breast, like so. Take your breast, don't worry about the feathers, the feathers will clean up in the water later. And just put it into your container of water. Let's try one more time. This is You could do this very, very fast. It's a really fast, simple way of cleaning doves. And these breasts are absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. They freeze well. You can cook them any number of ways. 
and you can and you can clean a couple dozen dubs in just no time at all. And that's really all there is to it. For one of the great outdoor game recipes and, and uh, delicious meals, it's a very simple way.